In this video, I'll show you the subtitling jobs you can get hired to do using Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, for these, uh, you can either get hired on different websites and I'll use two examples like Fiverr and also Upwork. Uh, those are some of the few websites you can get clients to hire you, but you can also get hired on LinkedIn. You can also set up a website as a subtitler, a translation specialist, etc that deals in subtitles and all that. Now, this is subtitle edit and I can actually begin from a new composition or new project and then import a video. So job number one, you can get hired to create subtitles from scratch or from a script or you automatically using uh, the features Whisper and VUSK models in subtitle edit. So for example, if you decide or get hired to create subtitles from scratch, then you just begin from a video or maybe an audio file and a wavelength and you just uh, use the create tab here, insert subtitle or video position and type out what you need or what is hard. So for example, in this particular selection, you can play the play selection in this tutorial. So you can see it's something like in this tutorial. So one thing is that having to type out or creating subtitles from scratch can be a little bit tiresome. So you may need to use AI or something of that sort. Also note that this duration that is appended here is an auto duration and it's of about a second. And for good subtitles, you can work with a duration of, of about a second to seven seconds for the subtitles to be appearing on screen like this. That is kind of a rule of thumb. So job number one is to get hired to create subtitles from scratch from a script or automatically uh, using uh, the available tool. So for example, for this one, I might decide to delete this line. Yes, and then use uh, uh, the AI audio to text via Whisper. And then I'll go for const me. This is a little bit faster. So for this video, two minutes 48, let's see how long it takes. Let's click on generate. And then let's see the results you're going to get uh, in a couple of few seconds, it's taken about uh, six seconds. So if you actually look at this and play it in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add text behind a person. Or so there could be a problem here, but you have uh, to bear with AI and now make the changes on your own. So it's something that can help you speed up your process and so on and so forth. Number two, you can get hired for job number two to translate. If translation is something that you're good and you believe that somebody can reach a wider audience by translating subtitles for their videos, then that is something you can get hired to do. So for this case, we have this subtitle that has been automatically generated. You can either use the auto translate options here and click auto translate and then check the service that you're going to use. And then let's say we want to translate this to Spanish. So I can just click on translate. So uh, telling us to put in the API key and so on and so forth. Click OK, but it's still going to do it uh, for us. So you can already see that it's done that. But remember, because it's automatically trans uh, translated, there could be loss in meaning of this particular subtitle. But it really uh, depends. If you're into translation, then there is something that you can focus in. So you can see the translated and the original. They are now side by side. So. They look really good, really depends on what you're working on. But always remember, you need to work with it depending on something that you know. So for me, I wouldn't do translation into Spanish if it's not something I'm comfortable with because I don't know Spanish. That was just automatic translation. But if translation is something that you're into, then you can also add uh, uh, subtitling as an extra skill. But that is job number two you can do in subtitle edit uh, for as a subtitle job translate subtitles, which is really, really handy. Now, uh, one of the jobs that you you will rarely see, but you can kind of offer as an added service is merging two subtitles into one. And I've done tutorials on that, uh, but uh, it's a really handy thing and it's usually under tools, but you will have to go to file plugins and then from the plugin section, go get plugins and should be somewhere here. It's called the merge, I should be somewhere here. 
merge two SRT files to one ASS for different languages. So click on download. It's just a small plugin uh, that allows you to kind of merge two subtitles into one. And you can see the install plugins. It's already there. Click OK. If you go to tool, merge to SRT to one ASS. So you can always incorporate this and have your subtitles either one at the top or at the bottom or just both of them are, are the same positions but one is going to be on top of the other one. So one is going to be above and one is going to be below. So I've done a complete tutorial on that uh, and kind of best practices because there's no need of having a subtitle down here and another one up here. It's actually going to mess with somebody's uh, eye movement and all that. But you can get hired to do that, especially for movies and uh, people want to ship out uh, the videos or uh, that particular movie with subtitles for maybe English and the translation of that particular subtitle uh, all in one. So those are jobs you can get hired. And you can also, for example, on Fiverr, create gigs. I will merge your subtitles into one. I will merge two of your subtitles into one. That is kind of different languages. And you can also create like uh, projects in uh, Upwork and so on and so forth. And for your clients, you can offer it as an added advantage. Now, the other job that you can do uh, right about here is subtitle quality assurance. For example, uh, probably this is a little bit uh, short. So for characters per second, you can see it already starts giving you kind of warning. It really depends on what you're doing. So let's assume you are doing subtitles for something like Netflix. Uh, let's actually go to open. No, I don't save changes. Mm, let's see. We go with this one. So. Uh, let's use this particular subtitle. If you are doing probably subtitles for Netflix, then you'll need to do some quality control and so on because these ones are going to be uh, everywhere. So what we might need to do is go to options and then go to settings. And then from here, change the profile to like Netflix English and you'll see the different settings here. So click OK. And from here, you'll probably see some errors if that is uh, Thing that you are looking at see uh, I don't think there are any errors but obviously we could have some errors around here so if you're doing content for Netflix then that is something that might come in handy let's see if we can add something to the toolbar settings I should have like toolbar the Netflix quality check let's see the general uh, right about here but we have a couple of options here. If you're doing quality checks for the different uh, things, you can set the different options here so that they match what you're doing. And quality control and uh, assurance uh, for this matter also involves clients are actually using AI as well. They may want you to correct maybe spellings uh, to fine tune the subtitles. And these are jobs I constantly see on sites like Upwork where clients want you to do quality control for those particular subtitles. So that is something that uh, you can offer as a service and get hired to do. Next up, we have the option to convert subtitles to different formats. Now, depending on where the file is going to be hosted, probably a particular format is not going to be supported. And uh, or maybe a, a particular video player that a client wants to use is not supported. So uh, in this, I'll probably just be looking at using two tools. Uh, and if you like to kind of upload subtitles on YouTube that have like different formatting, colors, positioning, then uh, you either work with the EBU subtitles uh, or TTML, I believe. Uh, but also there is uh, a particular file format that is called YTT. Now, uh, by default, it is not supported in subtitle edit, but I've done a full video on how you can upload subtitles or closed captions on YouTube with positioning, color, you name it, uh, available. And it's a closed caption file, so you can just turn it off, but the positioning color is still going to be available. Uh, and you create the subtitle in subtitle edit, convert the subtitle to ASS or advanced substation alpha, and then use a tool called YT converter to actually ensure that that particular information is going to be passed on to YouTube and YouTube is going to recognize that information. You can also get hired to convert subtitles from SRT to VTT, VTT to SRT, you name it. It really depends on what you're looking uh, for the jobs you're looking. And clients are out there 
some paying between a dollar to ten dollars per minute really depends on what you're looking at but all that is available uh really depends on your negotiation skills your expertise and so on and so forth next up we have other jobs that i've been constantly hired to do and for example this one is to ban mm -hmm. subtitles to video this is easily available in subtitle edit now the good thing i've always said is that subtitle edit is free and with it there's a ton of things you can do so for example for this particular subtitle i'll just need to go to video generate video with band in subtitle and then i'll come here set my settings send uh save my font family or whatever let's go with Arial, and then you can click on preview and we have this uh, available and as i mentioned in other tutorials on the channel this is actually changing soon and we're going to have a better preview window uh, for the subtitles that reflects what we have in this particular preview window here so it's going to be really awesome and once you're satisfied just click on generate the subtitles and they're going to be generated uh, for you so you can get hired to burn in subtitles i've done that over and over again and some clients are really good paying up to nine dollars per minute of banding subtitle uh, because sometimes they need positioning at different spots and that is really really something that you can look into uh, right uh, when you're looking for jobs that you can get hired and do in subtitle edit next up we've got the option or the jobs that you can uh, uh, be hired to do of embedding and removing soft subtitles from a video now all these kinds of jobs seem like they're not there but they're there and uh, if they're not there you create them so you can create projects in uh, upwork or create gigs of i will embed soft subtitles to your video i will remove soft subtitles from your video uh, because sometimes there are those kind of things that you don't think that uh, you can uh, be hired to do and to do them you just need applications like subtitle edit lossless cut mkv toolnix so that's another job that you can get hired to do or create it as a gig on sites like fiverr or as a project on a place like upwork and other different sites available out there next up i'll probably look at this as the final kind of job that you can get to uh, hire to do so uh their profiles for example in subtitle format like uh ass advanced substation alpha so if i click on this you'll see a style here so some clients are willing to pay you to create styles for this or you can actually sell different styles if you can uh, create a good style that you believe is going to be reusable so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this particular advanced uh, substation alpha styles click on it and from here you can create a new advanced substation alpha style click on new and then we call it uh, for example sample or whatever name you want to call it and then fine tune all your settings let's say we go with something like 50 right about there and then we can say that we want uh, different settings here but let's assume you want the subtitles here and then we have like the black background here it's something that you can set click on apply if you like that and then uh, different things you can change here so what happens is with this you've created your own sample that probably is something that you like somebody that somebody else likes so what we can do here is we can click on export and then you can export this particular sample for somebody who has hired you to create maybe a style for them for the advanced substation alpha or even if you want to actually sell this particular sample and then you click ok and then navigate to where you want it to sell and then click on sell and so on and so forth and then just upload it to sites like gumroad and sell your styles if there's something that people would pay uh, to have so there you have it and those are some of the few subtitling jobs that you can get hired to do using subtitle edit or even services and jobs you can create for yourself uh, so that you can actually uh, make some money on the side a recap you can create subtitles from scratch from a script or automatically using the vusk models or uh, whisper models available in subtitle edit number two you can translate subtitles into different languages if you know that particular language 
Number three, you can merge subtitles into one. That is two subtitles into one for people who actually want to have or uh, two subtitles in one video. Those are gigs you can create on Fiverr, projects you can create on Upwork, or even get hired on LinkedIn or any other site uh, that offers subtitling jobs like pros.com and so on and so forth. You can also get for subtitle quality assurance, which is uh, really, really handy, especially for when subtitles need to be extremely meticulous in how they appear. Next up, you can get hired to convert subtitles to different formats. And for these, the classical example I had here is if somebody wants to upload subtitles on YouTube uh, with uh, that is closed captions on YouTube that have positioning, color, etc. You can follow a tutorial I did on that. It's really handy. Somebody wants to ban subtitles to video, have subtitles banned to their video. You can create those subtitles banned into the video in subtitle edit. And it's super, super simple. Also embedding or removing subtitles from a video. And finally, you can also create styles or even profiles. For example, you go to options, settings, and then you can kind of create a profile here and then export it for somebody uh, so that they can actually work based on the profile that you've provided for them uh, based on the settings that you want. So that's a quick video on eight subtitling jobs you can get hired to do using Subtitle Edit. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.